Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? For the moment, Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. Well, if my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from certain death, let's go. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cupboard just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, as the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. The room below you is clear. Drop down. doors lead you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now, straight across to the door. Keep going all the way to the end. Wait, there's people in the room up ahead. Closing the shutters. Another robot up ahead. 
Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Go now! Let me just get that for you. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You'll have to fight your way to the exit. Hold on, trying to shut down that robot remotely. Got it. You're scrambling the protocols. I doubt that'll work again. I'm fine. There's the door. It should take you outside. Outside? You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a 
stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If you wish, you will have the opportunity to tell him yourself, shortly. Let the thief go with a sternly worded warning or get the authorities involved. Up to you. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't oh, do the same for the us. Time. But I need but to talk with you later. We should just let him go. No sense in more violence. You're doing Constellation proud. I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. It was surreal, honestly. So, most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. True, but this was different. I recognized this pattern from the war. A portion of the message was encrypted. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. I know this is probably long done, but I heard his voice. I can't just not look into it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. No, I just thought it was garbled. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. His former employers had some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. It is, but I was thinking about it and well, it's still wrong, right? So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here. See what I can find out. 
There's got to be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I'd need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. Uh, he knows how to navigate archived and redacted legal documents, so he'll look for anything to do with Irvin on Gagarin. If those documents are protected, he might have to pay to access them. Might need to grease some palms, too. That works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him, <laughs> even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? No, I know I can't. I just don't want whoever heard him to get away with it, if that's what happened. You're right. It is what it is. But being able to find out answers, uh, maybe even right some wrongs, that could mean a lot. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well, anyway... I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. This is some sick game Nicholas is playing. <laughs> Until next time. Talk to me. Yes, let's make sure we have everything. Be prepared for anything, right? See you later.
know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. You do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes, I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. Well, so be it. He knew the risk. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Oh no, you. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Slayton took it all, probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. It's not like you were working to make anything better for anyone other than yourself. But this would be a good thing to reflect on in your newfound, copious free time. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. This was a good meeting. Very productive. I guess I should be grateful you didn't put me on ice. Guess I should get ready for security to knock some more teeth out of me. <sighs> I'm done. I guess I should be grateful you didn't put me on ice. Guess I should get ready for security to knock some more teeth out of me. I'm glad we could come to terms. Feel free to see your way out. This was a good meeting. Very 
productive. I'm glad we could come to terms. Pretty sure you got away with it. You've got my attention, Captain. Uh-huh. Hoping to get a meeting? Yeah, I've been waiting here all day. It's ridiculous. I hear Slayton's had some major layoffs recently. Never a good sign. Slayton sure takes his security seriously. I don't know whether to feel safe or nervous. Your company sends you out here too? I don't see the point of face-to-face -face meetings with component vendors, to be honest. Glad I'm not the only one waiting around in this lobby. Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day! It's ridiculous! I hear Slayton's had some major layoffs recently. Never a good sign. Slayton sure takes his security seriously. I don't know whether to feel safe or nervous. Your, com your company sends you out here too? I don't see the point of face-to-face -face meetings with component vendors, to be honest. Glad I'm not the only one waiting around in this lobby. Yeah, Frank Rennick all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. <laughs> we had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> the latest concert of the 
Ain't no funny stuff with that boost pack. Hey, keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP, an A and B, B and E, or... The rules are there for a reason. Follow them, and we won't have a problem. Looks like you've got some fines to clear up. I can't remember if I already searched you. I must have, right? Let's go back to the station. <laughs> Folks in Neon have a rough time. They need to balance a potentially healthy trade with the interests of those who want to cross a line for incredible profit. Difficult to say the least. Lay it on me. 